Hey guys and girls. Well, this is just a quick update on uh, on Talon. I'm not sure what video log this is, but I've run out. It's 30 something, I'm sure of it. 35 it could be. I don't know. I'm not sure. I've got no idea. Um, as you can see, there's more lights on, on the front of Talon now. There's another light down there. I don't know how it's going to come up, because... Come on, camera. Right, you can just see it down there, look. Uh, I'm going through the press of wiring them up, hence all the wires everywhere, as you can see. Um, it's taking a while uh, to do. But I'm trying to do it nicely so I'm going to have no loss, so I'm using quite thick cable to wire them up to. Uh, the two at the top, the two these guys here at the top quite nice lights then um, I'm using the standard wiring kit that it, they came with I'm, all I'm doing is I'm replacing the original um, where has this appeared to the original switching uh, gear inside the dashboard with one I've built myself uh, it's in the garage at the moment I've lost locked the garage up because I'm just coming in um, I have ran a power cable from the mess that's inside the car at the moment because I've got all the dashboard out um, run a power cable from not the back but from the charge controller because that's got a, uh, a very thick hefty cable coming right away from the back of the car all the way to the front where I've got the battery in the boot um, so I've got that I've got that in the uh, I've got that wired up so that I'll be drawing power from the rear battery if that makes sense to you guys to run up the fog lights but obviously, I can be parked up and have the fog lights on all all the all the auxiliary lighting on the front. I can have turned on, and that'll be running from the back battery, not from the front. However, I'm going to wire it into a relay because me being me, I'm a, you know my, my wiring. I love wiring. I'm going to wire it on a switch so I can select it, so that I can either have the lights to come on with the um, well. I'm going to have the lights so that they. Uh, uh, so that so that I can run it from either the front or the rear battery, and I'm going to make it so that the lights come on when I put full beam on, or when I don't have full beam on, if that makes sense. And that was my phone just vibrating to tell me that I've got some form of notification, although it doesn't tell you, not when you're recording video. <laughs> yeah, this is doing on the phone this one, guys. I just can't be bothered to go and get my camera. To be fair, my phone does 720p, and that's generally what I record in, on my camera. So whatever, can the camera that the uh, the phone will do. Plus the fact this video will get uploaded through Dropbox onto my computer so I don't have to touch it at all. I can just shut the phone down in my room, get you know, have it lost somewhere. As long as it's powered up, it'll be uploading the video to my Dropbox via the Wi-Fi. And then my Dropbox will download it to my desktop. Well, to my laptop, because I don't have a desktop anymore. I want a desktop. But, uh, yeah, anybody out there who's got any dual-core capable motherboards or something like that with the... Uh, PCI Express on it, please let me know. DDR2 or 3, I'm not fussed. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll gear something for it, and uh, if it's a working motherboard, which is what I need, yeah, that'll be quite good. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, sadly, it's not it running at all, which is a shame. Look out for the next video log, I'll probably have it running by then. But behind that headlamp there, yeah, it's just Oh, the wires, man. The wires, the wires. So many wires. So many wires. See, I've got blues, reds, greens, and all sorts down there. And yellows as well. I'm quite cold, hence the dithering. Um, I had the wood burner on in the back, the back room, but I've had it on really low. I've just been chucking, you know, bits of wood in. Nothing major. But anyway, yep. Enough about everything else. Tell them. Got to, got to do tell them. So. Yep. Tell them is, um... It's going to be nice when he gets all his lights on. I don't know what the MOT guy is going to say about them all. I'll probably have to stick some tape over the ones at the top so that he can't check them. Because apparently any, any light that's fitted to a car that's not covered over has to be working. And although these lights are going to be working, I don't know if he's going to check the beam patterns on them or not. And I know the deep beam patterns on these guys up here are all over the place. But the ones at the top I think are supposed to be fog lights, but I'm going to use them for spotlights for the time being. They make a nice flat beam of light. Um... So they're supposed to be fitted low down and make the beam of light, obviously, go wherever. But uh, for the time being, I'm not that fussed. I, I'm not going to use these lights, obviously, on the roads. Well, I probably will do it on back streets, you know, where it's dark and I need four beams when there's no cars around. But 
if anybody who has ever driven a Fiat Panda, they will know that the headlights are rather lacking. So, yeah, you need auxiliary lighting. Definitely need auxiliary lighting. <laughs> Alright, guys and girls, that's it. I'm going in. I'm froze. Ugh, really am cold. I've got a fluorescent jacket on and everything. Look, yellow jacket and everything, but I'm just bloody freezing cold. This is really padded and all. <sighs> yes. In the house. Got to get my dinner. Sunday dinner. I don't really like Sunday dinners that much, but... Oh well. I eat what I get given. And that's what I'm being given, so... <laughs> I ain't complaining. Hell am I not complaining. So, yeah. Wiring tomorrow, hopefully. Got the grandparents coming around tomorrow. It's been a little while since I've seen them both. <clears throat> uh, I've got a friend... Um, from the in uh, from from the internet, ha ha, from uh, from the other side of the city, Derby. It's coming around. I'm gonna hopefully, well, hopefully it's gonna go smoothly. We're gonna try and refit an alternator to his uh, Mitsubishi Pajero Mark II, which is gonna be interesting. Mitsubishi Pajero slash Shogun, same car, truck, four x four, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, if you look at my previous videos, you'll see I did a um, <clears throat> door mirrors for it. I replaced the door mirrors, um, you know, because they wouldn't fold in, and I fixed it for him. Apparently, they're still working great. So, yeah, so now the alternator's packed up on the thing. But to be fair, it has been around the world a few times, and the alternator's pretty much knackered. I would have thought that that has ever been replaced. <coughs> And he has been running auxiliary lighting from it and all sorts of radios and oh, all sorts of things, so yeah. Righto, I'm going in. Final, going in now. Walking up the house, walking up to the door. I'll catch you in a bit, guys and girls. Please check out my next video whenever I upload it. And uh, yes, thanks very much, guys and girls, and peace out.